Have you ever watched a movie that inspired you to do something great? To never give up, or just leave an overall lasting impression on you? I did. For me, it was Rocky. This is my favorite movie to date. In the next few minutes, I'll discuss a little bit about the major theme of the movie, give you a brief overview of the history of the making of the movie, and introduce some of the cast members. The movie itself is about a small-time boxer from Philadelphia who was trying to make a name for himself. His name was Rocky. He, taught, he fought in small, no-name clubs and barely made any money to support himself until one day heavyweight champion Apollo Creed comes to town and wants to set up an exhibition between himself and a no-name boxer, promoting the fight as a chance for a nobody to become a somebody. The match is supposed to be easily won by Apollo Creed, but someone forgets to tell Rocky that it's just an exhibition. The whole time during the movie, you see him training and gaining support of the entire city, thinking that he actually had a chance to win. Um, everyone was counting on him to do it. The role of Rocky was played by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, he was born in New York City. His childhood appears were kind of complicated. His parents divorced when he was very young, and he actually spent some time in foster homes. Um, Rocky struggled most of his life, barely making any money and trying to make ends meet however he could. According to, internet, according to the internet movie database site, the day that Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone decided to write Rocky, um, he stated that he only had $100 left to his name. He had just watched the fight between Muhammad Ali and Chuck Webner. He was inspired by the determination of Chuck Webner when fighting Ali. Although Ali was getting the best of Webner throughout the whole fight, he never gave up and lasted all 15 rounds with the heavyweight champ. Sylvester admired Mr. Webner for going the distance, and that very night he began to write the Rocky script. He worked on the script for three days, and without knowing at the time, he created an American hero, a classic character that would inspire America. The whole time that Sylvester Stallone wrote the script, he planned on himself playing the lead role. He presented the script to two popular movie producers at the time, Robert Chardoff and Erwin Winkler. They loved the script, but they had other plans for it. They wanted to use a big known actor like Robert Redford, James Caan, Burt Reynolds, or even Ryan O'Neill. But Sylvester Stallone is, insisted on playing the lead role. They offered him $175,000 the first time for the script, and he refused. They then offered him $225,000. He still refused, insisting on playing the lead role. Chertoff and Winkler eventually gave in, and Sylvester became Rocky. Rocky had an excellent supporting cast. Carl Weathers played the role of Apollo Creed, which was Rocky's opponent in Rocky 1 and 2. He also had Burgess Meredith, which played Mickey, who was Rocky's manager in the first two movies as well. Perhaps the most recognized cast members in the Rocky movie were Talia Shire and Burt Young. Talia Shire played Rocky's girlfriend and later became his wife in, in the subsequent movies. Uh, she was well known for playing Harry Star in The Godfather and the sequel Godfather 2, which was kind of ironic because she went on to play in all the other Rocky sequels. The next cast member that was very well known was Burt Young, who played Paulie. Rocky's friend and later became his brother-in-law. Both Talia Shire and Burt Young appeared in every Rocky sequel except for the last one. Talia Shire did not appear. Rocky was released on December 3rd, 1976, just in time for Christmas. It was competing with movies like Taxi Driver, Carrie, and All the President's Men, which all starred popular actors. The rest of Sloan was just the opposite. The first major motion picture of his career and everyone was watching to see what he could do. The movie had a budget of $1.1 million, which was small for any movie at that time. And its first weekend, it grossed $117 million. Rocky was a success. Rocky also won the 1976 Academy Award for Best Picture. America fell in love with Rocky because his character represented what most people strive for in life to become successful. Rocky never gave up. He literally fought for what he wanted, a chance to get ahead. Rocky did not win the fight every time, but he lasted all 15 rounds with the champion. He was an instant hero. Rocky was so successful that he went on, Sylvester Stallone went on to write and produce multiple sequels 
that spanned over three decades. This alone in itself was a success considering that most sequels did not fare very well. Throughout all these sequels, Rocky, the people's champion, did not always win. But according to Rocky, it does not matter if you win or lose as long as you 